Hello everyone, welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Millen and I am a software engineering student at Carleton University in Ottawa, Canada. Today I will be going over some commonly asked mathematics questions at the high school level and if you're interested in getting some homework help or if you're interested in getting some tutoring, check out the links in the description below. Cool, so we can get into some mathematic magic in a way that we can do it the fastest. So let me do it, uh, let me switch up my screen ASAP fast like this. Okay, we should be good. So we can get magic with the mathematics. Okay, so the first question that we got on the menu today is asking us, what is 16 divided by three? Now there are many ways that we can write this. We could write this as 16 divide three. We could also write this as a fraction 16 over three. Now I think it's better to kind of think about it in a more fractional sense because um, Fractions are very commonly used, especially as you get deeper into the math world of mathematics. So let's think about what this fraction means. This means if we have, um, if each piece, if each, um, or if it takes, if it takes three, if it takes three to make one, how many will 16 make? It's pretty much what this is saying. Or um, if we're trying to like equate this into like a math question, into like a physical word type question. Okay, so 16 times uh, divided by three, I wanna think about it. Okay, how many times could we fit three into 16? So let's try counting this together. So we have three, okay, then we have six. So this would be one times three. Um, equals three, two times three equals six. Okay, we're getting closer, what about three times three? We know that that's gonna be nine. Hmm, not quite there yet, three times four. Uh, 12, are we there yet? Not quite. Let's try again, three times five, that's 15. Okay, we're really close. But if we were to do something like three times six, it's 18. A little too much there. We, we know that it has to be um, 16 over 3, somewhere between 5 between, um, and 6. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we know that it's going to be five, between 5 and 6, but this... I think 5 is a little bit closer. 15 is closer to 16 than 18 is. So if we do um, 5, we're going to have 15, but we're still going to have one third left, right? Because we have 16 thirds. If we have 15 thirds, that makes 5, but we're still going to have one third left. So 15 and one third. Now let's try to convert one third into a decimal form. What's one, four, one third as a decimal? Well, 0 0.333. So another way of writing this is equal to 5 uh, plus 1 third, which is equal to 5 plus 0 0.333 with a line on top. And that line on top means that we got a whole lot of threes, an infinitely large number of threes. You don't want to write all the threes. I will take, you know, your whole life and then some more. So instead, we can just write uh, a line on top of the threes, and that means that it's repeating. So, um, of course, this seems like fairly straightforward math. So we know that the result of this is going to be 5.333 with a line on top. Uh, and this will be equal to our original question, which was, what is 16 divided by 3? 16 over 3. And another way of saying that, what is 16 divide symbol 3? Now, you got to be very familiar with the divider operation. as well as fractions. It might be a little bit intimidating at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, you'll, you'll really see that um, they are very useful. They're both 
uh, completely valid ways of representing it. Fractions are typically preferred as you get deeper into your mathematic knowledge. But um, yeah, just stay ready to handle both of them. So the above solution is good. Of course, you could just send this into your calculator and you can get the answer like ASAP, ASAP fast. But, uh, you know, um, sometimes it's nice to think about these things in a more abstract sense. Okay, cool. Thank you.